Well, in a sport, everyone, the AFL has backed Essendon's decision to allow James Hurd to coach against the Fremantle Dockers tomorrow night. It comes despite allegations he was injected with a substance banned for players by former club scientist Stephen Dank. League boss Andrew Dimitriou says he's looking forward to hearing Hurd's version of events. Nick Butler explains. Never before has James Hurd's character come under such scrutiny, but he's doing his best to stay focused on the question, are you fit to coach the Bombers tomorrow night? came this response. Definitely, definitely. The allegations heard injected a substance on Wada's ban list are damaging, but the players are standing behind their leader. How distracting is this? Can you focus on footy? Yeah, no, for sure. Definitely still focused on the game and ready to play tomorrow night. Still supporting James? Yeah, for sure, 100%. Yeah, we're looking forward to playing. Gee, it's a distraction though, isn't it? There's not much you can do about it. All the players can do is prepare to take on the Dockers. This morning they trained at Windy Hill, not knowing whether their coach would survive the supplement scandal. The board has made it clear that the health and the safety of the players is paramount and that if anyone at our club has breached the duty of care, the board will act. Look, obviously, they're very upsetting claims. Um, I just can't wait to get in and talk to Assad and the AFL. And once I've got in and talked to Assad and the AFL, I can't wait to, to clear my name. The AFL chief withholding judgment on one of the game's favourite sons. So I'm looking forward to hearing what he has to say to the Asada investigators. Notwithstanding that, uh, it doesn't matter who you are in this game. Um, I've said before that the expectation of our supporters is that they watch their sport in its purest form. Until then, there's a game of footy to be played between two unbeaten teams. I haven't got the luxury to be worrying about everything outside of this football club, it's not my role, it's not what I'm employed to do. I'm employed to manage a team of coaches and players and, and prepare them to play in a manner that our members will be proud of. Amid a cloud of controversy, the Bombers thrived against the Crows in their round one trip into state, but the stakes have been raised. Nick Butler, 10 News. Yeah, it's a massive story and it's been a big day for Essendon who arrived in Perth late this afternoon. The Bombers and James Hurd have battened down the hatches at their team hotel and that's where we find Lockie Reid. An incredible day for James Hurd and also the Essendon Footy Club. They arrived here in Perth at a little after 3.30 this afternoon and as expected a massive media contingent were awaiting their arrival, especially after drug allegations were directed at James Hurd. Now just to add to the drama, the plane was half an hour late then there was no sign of James Hurd as the players made their way off the plane into the arrivals area and then grabbed their bags and jumped on the bus. Still no sign of James Hurd but Joe Watson said the focus is on the footy at Patterson Stadium tomorrow night against the Dockers. My feelings towards the game haven't changed. We're looking forward to playing as is the rest of the team. Club in turmoil? No, I think so. Now, just as the players got themselves comfortable on the bus, James Hurd appeared. He came through a side exit. And, of course, there's been talks today that he may not coach the club tomorrow night against the Dockers. He quickly put those rumours to bed. I will be coaching tomorrow night. If you can let me go to the bus, I'll go and coach. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, yeah, guys. How will you be able to make those tough calls? Guys, on game I will, day? I'll be fine. Is okay. Stephen Dank telling the truth? <laughs> will you have any response to the allegations? The most recent one? Oh. I've, made a, uh, I've made a comment, mate, so I'll leave it at that. It's going to be a big game and plenty to talk about. Tim, it is back to you. Good on you, Lockie. Lockie Reid in the city. Let's move on to the teams and a couple of changes for the Bombers tomorrow night. West Aussie, Travis Colley returns to his home deck. Merritt makes way while Bagley has an ankle injury. Kavanagh is the other inclusion. Ruckman David Hill is an emergency with Bell Chambers holding his place in the 22 for now. A settled Dockers camp by comparison with just the one change and it's like for like with Hayden Crozier out and Ballantyne in. Ross Lyon not concerned about Brendan Goddard's intelligence on his former coach. <laughs> He never used to listen in my team meetings. <laughs> PJ, I hope you started listening. Look, I have regular contact with PJ. He's one of my favourites, or was. A favourite person, and he's a great player. They're fortunate to have him, and he'll be a handful. They've set themselves for us. I think James spoke about it straight after their last win, so we understand what's coming. Teams I've coached have lost the last five times to Bombers teams, you know, so I thought I'd put it on the record because... Clearly there's chatter about it, so that's OK. It's just feedback that I need to improve my coaching against the Bombers. 